Donald Trump lost the election. Uh, he got less votes. He lost the Electoral College. He has failed to meet every single indicator of any sort of electoral victory. His staff knows this. And yet, Donald Trump continues to fight against this. And his staff is starting to get super embarrassed. So right now, the Trump campaign is bringing lawsuit after lawsuit to the courts to try to throw out as many ballots as possible, right? In order to, like, say, oh, the massive voter fraud is the only reason, uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden actually got more votes is because we had to have had massive voter fraud. And so, you know, in, in order to prove it, we're going to bring no evidence, but we're just going to say it's a vast conspiracy and then have you just throw out as many votes as we need to actually win. I mean, it's it's they're literally trying to steal the election right in front of us. It, it's amazing. Um, or, you know, amazing. amazing. Yeah. OK, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to use that. All right. Now, in attempting to throw out all these mail in ballots, right, this uh, administration would basically disenfranchise enormous swaths of black people. Uh, Democrats, independent voters, and a few conservatives who also happen to dislike Donald Trump. And there's a few of them, uh, although, again, 93% of registered Republicans voted for Donald Trump. That's an even bigger share than back in 2016. Now, these challenges, again, hinged on the conspiracy theory that there has been massive voter fraud perpetrated by the Democrats. Uh, earlier today, there was a, 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 news, a news conference or a press conference where it was alleged that the only way that Biden won is because there was uh, these voting machines, Dominion voting machines that were engineered by Hugo Chavez of Venezuela. I mean, I mean, they're really, they're really reaching for it. All right. They're, they're reaching, they're good. They're calling out Venezuela now. They're like, it's, it's Venezuela, it's Venezuela. Uh, this is how Hugo Chavez rigged the votes. Uh, and this is how Joe Biden also the same as Hugo Chavez in their demented minds, uh, it also rigged the election. No. Oh. Okay. Great. Uh, so now, again, this is a, a conspiracy with zero real evidence to back it up, which is why they cannot present it in court, why their older lawsuits continue to get, it, get, to get tossed out of court, uh, and one that is apparently so large and so coordinated and yet incredibly terrible at taking any sort of actual power to us not uh, to have not actually removed Mitch McConnell, who was the biggest block uh, on progressives. I mean, we cannot get any progressive policy passed as long as Mitch McConnell holds the Senate. And so uh, it, not only that, but the Democrats in the House lost seats. How how is that an effective uh, you know, uh, 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 voter fraud, if it doesn't work again, if you have this elaborate conspiracy, you think that it would be, they would be better at it, but no, ap apparently not. Um, it's so ridiculous. It is batshit insane and laughably stupid. All right. But anyway, and, and now even Donald Trump loyalists, people loyal to Trump are saying, yeah, this is embarrassing, dude. Uh, that's, of course, if you believe the liberal rag known as the Wall Street Journal. A bunch of commies over there, let me tell you. Uh, they report that even though some loyalists of the president see his attempts to overturn the 2020 election as doomed to fail. And there are quotes. All right. So now uh, these quotes come from anonymous officials, obviously, uh, because the, the second they say something, Donald Trump will fire them. Uh, that's what happens. Donald Trump's on a firing spree, which really shouldn't surprise anybody. That's, that's literally his catchphrase for years on television. All right. But anyway, uh, one quote here. This is from a Trump campaign aide talking to the Wall Street Journal. Quote, there was this period of hope that there was fraud. Wait, wait. Okay. You hope that there was fraud. Right there. That See, this is the evidence of of the copium, okay, that they're taking. It's, or more like hopium, I guess. They're like, oh my God, Donald Trump, he couldn't have lost. He couldn't have lost. It must be fraud. It must be something else. Please, please be fraud. Please be fraud. 
You are literally begging. And I can imagine Trump staffers sitting there as the results pour in after November 3rd, right? As the mail-in ballots, as we've been talking about, because I told you, you know, I, I told everybody, if you were here watching the election uh, night when I was streaming, uh, you would have seen me talking about, hey, the mail-in ballots are going to come in. They're going to come in after tonight. It's going to be a slow trickle. And they are going to, these uh, states as they get counted, are going to turn blue and they're going to go for Biden. Uh, Michigan, you know, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, etc. Nevada. I was actually surprised about Georgia. Uh, I thought maybe there was a shot in Florida. Nope, didn't turn out that way. So now they were hoping, though, as this was happening. Oh, please. Oh, please. Uh, be, please be fraud. Please be fraud. I, I, that's, I mean, it's ridiculous. And so they continue by saying... And then it was, is there really enough fraud? It's starting to get a little embarrassing. There isn't enough fraud. <laughs> I mean, it's true, though. There isn't. There's, there's never been enough to really swing an election, uh, a general election. It's incredibly rare, voter fraud. I mean, do you really believe that in a country where a sizable amount of the population doesn't even bother to vote, that people would take the time and face possible punishments to do voter fraud, to try voting twice? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Um, and it just usually happens to be hardcore Republicans. Uh, and they almost always get caught. But nonetheless, they're still so like, infinitesimally small uh, amount of that actually happening. Um, I mean, look, the national fraud rate for voting is somewhere between uh, 0. 0.0006 to 0. 0.00025%. Again, infinitesimally small. I, you have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning or having a candy machine fall on you uh, than actually perpetrating inverse and voter fraud. Or experience it. It, it just it, it, it just really doesn't happen, okay. And so this is out of handful. Like it's a, literally a handful out of millions of votes, millions of ballots, hundreds of millions of ballots. And look, even in states where the difference is, you look at percent. You know, you look at it, it's like 0. 0.2 percentage points. You know, forty five. Uh, you know, 0. 0.7 or or forty nine point seven or whatever to whatever. Right? I math fail. Um, it's ironic because the math for Trump doesn't work. Okay. So you get like a, a, a you know, a difference of like 0.2% that equals to about 10,000 or, or, or several thousand votes depending on the state. Okay. And so the biggest problem with Trump's claims, aside from the lack of evidence is again, the, the math that just doesn't work. You have a handful of fraudulent ballots, but you still have a difference of ten to 14,000 votes. Well, then that handful of possibly fraudulent ballots is not really going to do anything. All right. And so it's not going to it's not going to change the election. And so that's what we're talking about. It's not going to change the election. And, and if you look at it from more than a surface level view and don't buy into conspiracy theories and or you're not a fucking moron, uh, you can see that. So there it is. Uh, now, the journal... Oh, by the way, uh, before I get to that, <laughs> uh, the journal source is talking about Mr. Rudy. We're going to bring him here in a minute. Um, Donald Trump is a moron, and that's why he literally believes that, no, 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 I won. It was massive voter fraud, even though I can't prove it. Uh, and look, again, part of that's because of how deeply unintelligent he is. And the other part, of course, is that he's surrounded by grifters. Um, the journal descri uh, sources describe how Donald Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, took control of the case, took control of the efforts to fight against the election results by accusing other advisors of lying to him about having little chance of overturning the outcome. One Trump campaign source tells the paper, quote, he was the only person telling the president 
he could win. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with how much Donald uh, uh, Donald Trump is paying Rudy Giuliani. Uh, look, uh, according to multiple people briefed in the matter, speaking to the New York Times, Giuliani had actually been asking for a lot of money since the election. The request, according to the Times, stirred opposition for Mr. Trump's aides and advisors, who appear to have ruled out paying that much, and it is unclear how much Mr. Giuliani will ultimately be compensated Mr. Giuliani, of course, had been asking for compensation for his work dating back to the day after the election day, uh, when Mr. Trump began publicly claiming that he won despite the results, according to people familiar with the request, who asked for anonymity. At $20,000 a day, a day, Giuliani's rate would be above the top-of-the-line lawyers in Washington and New York who can charge as much as $15,000 a day if they're spending all of their time working for that client. Uh, and it looks like uh, you were, uh, Donald Trump is, is getting what he paid for uh, because, well, of stuff like this. Right up. So what we're telling you is supported by evidence. And uh, we're, we're going to have to present these because of the procedures that exist. Pennsylvania. Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona, we more than double. <laughs> this guy's a mess. He's a flop sweat disaster. Wow. Again, get what you pay for. Apparently this man charges a lot, but gets real cheap hair dye. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. Um, now, Again, he could get $10,000, he can get $15,000, whatever, right? Whatever the campaign pays him. That is unless, of course, he loses, which he will, uh, and Donald Trump decides to stiff him. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, that's good. That would be hilarious. Um, and in the words of GOP strategist Mike DeHame, who told the Wall Street Journal, quote, Donald Trump lost. We shouldn't be telling people it was fraud when it wasn't fraud. <laughs> uh, again, there's no evidence of this, right? And and really, if you look at it from a conservative perspective, there there's no winning here. This is going to hurt Republicans down the line. Let me give you an example. See, if you have a significant number of Republicans, say about half, for example, again, that's not the reality, but half, right? Now, think of half half of all Republicans as a result of this election. Think that. Well, voter fraud is so rampant, they stole the election from Donald Trump. Well, then what's the point of voting? What's the point of going out and, and voting? We, we've, we've, we've been beaten by the deep state uh, in Venezuela, right? So what's the point? My vote doesn't matter. Well, then they stop showing up, generally, right? And what that would end up being is a disaster for the Republican Party. That's why you have people like Raffensperger, Brad Raffensperger, uh, who's a, a Secretary of State of Georgia, coming out and saying, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't do that. Um, no. Look, Joe Biden won. It's math. He got more electoral votes. He got more votes overall. Like, that's indisputable. So we follow the math, and that's it. Please don't lose trust in our electoral system. And then, again, that's, that's where you have Republicans that, again, I, I think a lot of this is motivated out of self-interest, obviously, and, and also to not appear to be an insane person. Because only an insane person is saying massive voter fraud with no evidence to back it up. And so that would be, of course, if this happens, an electoral disaster. And so think about it, though. Republicans normally use voter fraud as a rhetorical device to try to justify voter suppression measures like voter ID, etc. Except that their, their audience is so stupid that they now believe that like, no, 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 voter fraud is is 100% real. We just got the election stolen from us. So I guess my vote doesn't matter. I'm not going to vote. Oops. <laughs> and look, uh, again, that's great if you're a Democrat um, and if you actually want to get shit done. So, I, I you know, that's, that's fun. Um, but in, in, in look, this could have uh, impacts on the Senate, by the way. 
Remember, we have a Senate runoff election coming up real soon. And so if a lot, if enough Republicans say, ah, fuck it, I mean, my, my vote doesn't count, I'm not going to go out and vote, well, then you could actually see Democrats retake the Senate. Um, I, I don't know how likely that's going to happen. Um, but hey, uh, Republicans, uh, I, I guess Donald Trump, go out and keep saying it, it, it's rigged and that it's uh, useless to go and vote. Keep embarrassing yourself out of power. Great. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.